the, the Medo Persians even got together. The Medes and the Persians even got together. All right, go ahead. Right. It says, um, therefore the he goat waxed very great, and when he was strong, the great horn was broken, and for it came up four notable ones toward the four winds of heaven. And out of one of them came forth the little horn, which waxed exceeding great, toward the south and toward the east and toward the pleasant land. And it waxed great even to the host of heaven, and it cast down some of the host and of the stars to the ground. Yeah, this is not talking about the Roman Empire bringing down Israel with Herod. This is not talking about George W. Bush. You know, this is not talking about um, America. This is talking about um, Antiochus IV, also known as Antiochus Epiphanes. That's what that's talking about. But it said there, there were four. When, when, when Alexander died at the age of uh, 32, um, there were four generals up under him. Then there was like a mention of a fifth. You had uh, um, Antigonus was one of them. But the main four was uh, uh, Lasimaeus, Cassandra, uh, Seleucid, and um, Ptolemy. And you had a line, a line of the Ptolemies, and you had a line of the... Uh, uh, Seleucus line, which were known as the uh, uh, Epiphanies, all right? I'm sorry, the, um, uh, you had Antiochus, you had the line of the Antiochus, the Anti Antiochus. Some of the scholars refer to it as Antiochus, named, uh, the name given to Antioch. That, that name goes back to the line of Antioch, uh, Antioch Antiochus or Antiochus. We say Antiochus. So you had a, a f Antiochus the first, second, third, f a fourth was Epiphanes. And that's who it's talking about in uh, Daniel the 8th chapter. Okay? Now go to the breakdown. Go to the breakdown of the, of the, of the rams, the two horns, and, and uh, the goat. Go ahead. All right. Uh, Daniel 8 and 20. The ram which thou sawest having two horns are the kings of Midia and Persia. And the rough goat. So <laughs> the scriptures... So you can't say, well, that's not talking about that. That horn represents Satan. It represents Lucifer. It don't represent Satan or it don't represent Lucifer, dumbass. It's telling you right there, just in case you can't get it, the angel broke it down to Daniel. Read it again. It says, the ram which thou sawest having two horns are the kings of Midia and Persia. And the rough goat is... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run into them church passes and I'm gonna ask him to break it down before I get to it then when he comes that's talking about Lucifer then I said okay let's jump down yeah. <laughs> okay let's see if it says Lucifer <laughs> go ahead it says and the rough goat is the king of Grisha which is uh, look up the word Grisha because you roll up on a nigga and say Grisha well that ain't talking about the Greeks that's Grisha so you got the Greeks and you got Grisha <laughs> Grisha, Greeks, Greeks, Grisha. Two different things. Then you're going to run into assholes like that. Let's see what the word Greca means. Yeah, the word there is, uh, the Hebrew word is Yawan, which means uh, Ionia or Greece. And um, they have son of Japheth and grandson of Noah. Greece, Ionia, Ionians. Location of descendants of Yawan. Uh, down here is Greece. Yeah, pretty much. Now, the people of Yawan came out of the line of Japhet, Yapath, which are dark skinned people, found in uh, Genesis, the 10th chapter. Now, Alexander did not come out of uh, Yawan. He did not come out of the the, the seed or, or the line of uh, Yapath, he was actually an Edomite. Because what Edomites did was they conquered the different worlds around them. Like uh, Rome, ancient Rome, that was possessed by the, um, the um, people of Jaffa. That's why when you watch these movies, and another thing, you, you, you guys out there, you got to watch these period pieces, man. You can't be watching, uh, what's, what's the new Negro? You can't be watching that movie, Jumping Over the Broom. That's that new Negro movie. 
You couldn't pay me to go watch a stupid movie like that. Any of the movies with uh, Tyler uh, Perry, them stupid movie for colored girls, you know, don't be, don't be watching. I mean, you might have to watch it with your daggone woman because she wants to watch it, you know. But you ain't going to get into that. You shouldn't get into no movie. If you, gonna, if you cry in a movie like that, brother, you might not be one of the elect, you know. Don't let us, don't let me roll up on you in the movies, man, with some Kleenex crying because you didn't saw jumping over the damn broom. You're supposed to watch these period pieces, man. And you're supposed to look at these period pieces like the movie Alexander the Greek. The newest one was crap, you know, um, because this guy, Oliver Stone, he said, I'm going to, I'm going to really put all the facts in there. I'm going to show them that they were faggots. Well, that movie didn't do so good. Because you made the white man look like a damn faggot, man. Which he is anyway, but you wasn't supposed to bring it out. You wasn't supposed to let the world know that you were, in reality, you're a bunch of faggots and pedophiles. But you got to watch these period pieces, man. All right? Go ahead. It says, now that being broken, I'm sorry, it says, uh, and the rough goat is the king of Grisha, and the great horn that is between his eyes is the first king. Now that being broken, whereas four stood up for it, four kingdoms shall stand up out of the out of the nation, but not in his power. And in the latter, yeah, because when you go into the uh, Maccabees and you go into the uh, uh, you go into uh, Daniel the eleventh chapter, you go into uh, the uh, Josephus and other uh, history books, historical documents, they were warring against each other to try to get the power seat. All right, now. They didn't have the power that Alexander had. He had that whole area of land that they had to split into four. So they were basically fighting against each other. Go ahead. It says, And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce continents and understanding dark sentences shall stand up. That was uh, one of the four that, that come out of the line of the four, out of, out of the uh, Seleucid uh, Empire or the Seleucid Dynasty which means powerful fam family, um, that was uh, Antiochus the Fourth, also known as Epiphanes, or Antiochus the Fourth, Antiochus Epiphanes. That's what that's talking about, which we're not even going to get into right now. All right? Now let's go back to uh, Revelation. Revelation 13 and 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns, ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blas blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a... And the word blasphemy basically means, go to that, go to that in, um, in the blue letter, Revelation 13 and 1, look up the word blasphemy. Because you got this guy, Bubble Eye Blackfish, talking about there's a group of Edomites that's going to deny their father and choose the Lord. Well, it, it, there's no scripture on that. You're adding to the scripture. It said they were going, they were going to come in the name of blas. They're going to come blaspheming. They're going to blaspheme the name of the Lord. They're not going to come loving the Lord. They're going to defy the Lord. Yahweh by show me how it shot. Go ahead. Yeah, Revelation thirteen and one, the Greek word for blasphemy. Strong's G nine eighty eight, blasphemia. Blasphemia. Which means slander, detraction, uh, speech injurious to one to another's good name. Uh, impious and reproachful speech injurious to divine majesty. Basically, they're going to have negative things to say about the Most High and be totally against the Most High. Go ahead. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear. The leopard represent the uh, Alexander the Greek. That's the the beginning of it. Matter of fact, go to uh, Daniel the, the seventh chapter and go right to the point. Uh, Daniel chapter seven verse. Uh, Six. After this I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl, 
Uh, the beast had also four heads, and dominion was given to it. That's talking about the. Um, that's talking about Alexander the Greek, which was a leopard, and the four heads represent the four uh, generals that came after he died at a young age, and I mentioned them: Lysimachus, Cassandra, uh, Seleucid, and um, uh, Ptolemy. All right, go ahead. Is that that's it? Okay, let's go back. All right, it says.